Good morning, folks. This is Jacob Folger, artist, sculptor, and today we are going to make a gnome. I have been really inspired by viewers who have become friends, Adela and Maggie, and they are always sending me photos of their creations that uh, they say are inspired by my tutorials and um, uh, the photos definitely uh, that they sent me are, are definitely inspiring and uh, they're making some wonderful gnomes and a lot of other really cool creations. Here are a few so you can see. Okay, I'm going to be starting with a ball of clay. And I'm going to press in here to kind of form the beginning of the eyes and kind of the bridge of the nose there. And I'm going to take a little bit of clay and put it on here for his nose. and blend it in all the way around. <laughs> and then I'm going to add little balls of clay on the sides here for his nostrils. like that and I'm going to make the tip of his nose kind of big oh, kind of like that just by adding clay to it blend it in oh, if you have trouble getting to uh, you know blend it in really well, you might want to use a little tool, but I do encourage you to use your fingers as much as possible and avoid using tools all the time because you want to get your hands used to sculpting. And so, really, you want as much practice as possible as far as that goes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Take a ball of clay and add it here for its cheek. And put that in. Go like that. Make a little bit of clay for the other cheek. So just rolling a ball. So this is, you can see, this is my uh, simple shapes sculpting technique where I basically uh, form simple shapes of clay and assemble them to uh, form figures and pretty much anything that you want to make. You can just uh, visualize it that way. It makes it a lot easier to learn. I'm going to add a little bit of clay down here. We shall build on in a little bit for his uh, mouth and that sort of thing. Okay. I'm going to use uh, kind of a bigger ball tool for his eyes. Um, going to press into the clay to form eye sockets. Like that. And then I'm going to roll the balls and make sure they fit. And then I'll take that out and make another ball the same size. 
to a big, I'll take them off and there we go, those are about right. I'll put them in, press them in gently. Well, maybe, maybe I would like his eyes to be kind of looking off. Maybe that way a little bit. So I'll just have the pupils like that. And that makes it look like he has color in his eyes, you know, like he's actually can see and he's alive. You know. I'll take a little bit of clay like this. And put it over his eyeball. Like that. Which will not be his eyelid. Do the same for the other side. And, uh, let's, uh, uh, run this in here. Maybe, uh, take a selfie tool and just uh, bring that out a little bit. So far, then I think I'll, I'll add some nice bushy eyebrows. I'm gonna give it a swirl of water. Uh, every once in a while, I want to say my uh, source play and um, my work to keep it nice and moist. And if you're gonna leave your stop alone for any amount of time, you'll want to cover it with, uh, with, uh, a plastic bag or something, some kind of plastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do that. Eyebrows there. Can kind of buzz them in at the top. So they'll be kind of secure, you know. And uh, take a shopping tool like this. These you can get packages of at <coughs> art stores and um, kind of lift his eyes a little bit, his eyelids. So, make him a little bit brighter. Yeah, you can get packages of tools like that. Why does it shape like this? Let's see if you and uh, this one here, and maybe a, a ball tool like this, or in various sizes, various sizes, yeah. So we'll set him over here for a minute. And take a I have to roll this off screen, so I hope you don't mind doing that. This is really a shape like this. 
push this down on my work surface. Uh, forming it to the flat or the bottom. Like that, see? And I press it into the top, trying to make it flat at the top. And I'm going to wet my tool and score here where the head is going to go. This is the body here. Beginning of the body, anyways. And then I'm going to score on where the head's going to go. And then I'm going to uh, press it and, well, applying downward pressure and twisting to join the two pieces together. And then I'm going to blend them together like that. Looks good that his head is kind of tilted, you know, like that. It's kind of cute. Okay, so I think I'll uh, take a bit of clay and uh, roll it into a ball. Got a shape like this here. And that's going to be his, uh, his foot. So, again, uh, what's the tool? Keep it clean, uh, you know, so that it's effective and sharp. Right here. And, uh, pick it up and Bring it in. You want to bring it in all the way around so it's nice and secure. Another one, just like that. Uh, shape it, basically the same size. Clean your tool, keep your tool, tool clean when you're scoring, and wet the tool, and then. Or deeply, yeah, so a nice bond. Bond it in all the way around. Wet your clay frequently because you want to keep it moist. <coughs> I just did that a second ago, so. <coughs> so. Then, uh, I'm going to start his beard. So, take a bit of clay. I'm going to roll it into a cone shape. Like this. And then I'm going to kind of shape it. Kind of like this. Let's see how that's going to work. Well, that should work pretty good. I want it to go up on the sides of his face. 
and I don't want it real thick here. Um, so I'll refit it again to see how it's going to work. So maybe something like that, and then what I'll do is kind of curve it off a little bit. So it's kind of like, kind of like that. So it's going to go on there kind of like that. So what I'll do then is make sure my tool is clean, wet it, and score all this. Like this. And then where it's going to go, I'll score it. around kind of like that okay and then I'm going to make his mustache, so uh, maybe something like uh, rolling needle, kind of like this, maybe a little thinner. Kind of like that. Well, it shouldn't go up under there like that. So, uh, want to, uh, wet it and score, uh, wet my tool and score where it's going to go. And score here. I'm going to wet what my score say. is uh, take this tool and right about center of that nose right there for a mark kind of carve in a mark there and that kind of defines a mustache a little bit I'm going to take a little bit of clay Put it up under there. That should be his lower lip. It looks kind of like that. And then I'm going to take a sculpting tool and kind of in here then I'm just going to kind of cut in like this Into his, into his uh, 
mustache a little bit. I'll have to work on it a little bit. But basically I'm trying to get a smile on him. That's working out. Let's see he's kind of smiling. I like that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take uh, a ball tool and kind of just, um, actually maybe, uh, maybe I'll use this and uh, kind of carve in little hair, uh, hairs on his mustache. And uh, also I do. This is kind of fun, huh? I'm going to add uh, some uh, texture to his eyebrows. <clears throat> okay, so now I want to work on his arm so I will the shape like this and it's going to go like this here. Uh, so uh, I want to uh, score everything. And I'll make another shape to the other side. <clears throat> oh, I guess maybe a little bit uh, smaller than that. Kind of like this. Pardon my neighbors. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. I'm making all kinds of noise out there. Like 
that. And uh, cut the uh, hand. So basically, I want to form a little shape like that. So go on. Kind of go on there like that. So. For this, and uh, and. Uh, I'll take uh, and make uh, little fingers. i go on like that. Well, for that and And then I'll just add fingers. Okay, so I'm kind of working on his hands a little bit. And kind of big hands. I'm not too sure about that, but I'm going to keep going. Made another hand here. This one, this hand is going to be holding something. I don't know what. Maybe a toe. I, I made a, uh, I made a dome several years ago. Um, I don't know how long ago it was exactly. Here's a picture of him. And I called him a turtle gnome, and, uh, this woman that used to buy some of my creations, I think she was kind of collecting my stuff for a while, um, bought him. But he was really a nice gnome. I liked him a lot. And I feel kind of inspired to do something like that with him today. So, yeah, I'm thinking why not make a, make a, a little uh, turtle gnome on the little ball. Drop a little ball like that. Yeah, go like that. Put it in his hand like that. So, uh, kind of form it into like a little shape like that. And then I'll make uh, little legs out of little balls, all about the same size. Make little uh, jewels of clay like that. Again, you know, I want to remind you to let your work. I, I've been doing it all along. I just uh, I'm kind of doing it in between breaks, in between clips. So, uh, definitely want to be doing that. A little, little one uh, for his tail, kind of like that. And, uh, and then we'll make his head in a minute. So, uh, I want to let the tool in. 
for by myself. And then the legs were the gonna join. And then uh, put them on the bottom of the uh, shell. like that. and solid. Kind of like that. And we'll uh, take a little ball of clay. shape kind of like that. See how that's going to look on there. Kind of like that. So, what the tool go A small, let's see, maybe a, let's say a small ball tool. Put in a little eye. I like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure I like that. Let me see. Um, try to bring that away. It's really small. A small little turtle. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe. Maybe like that. I'm just trying to keep. And 
something like that, but I'll take this leg off because it's kind of in the way. So, uh, I'm going to score where it's going to go. And, uh, here. I'll have to fix his, fix his face a little bit later, I guess. Um, and then I will little noodles for his fingers. Clean your tool every time, you know, keep that sharp so it's uh, effective. It does take a while, you know, to make something like this. You know, full figure. And uh, you can take the... Uh, uh, like a ball tool here and uh, make little indentations here for its fingernails. Mm -hmm. I like that. So that's what we got so far. <laughs> it's cute. I think it's pretty cute. Let's see. So that's his left hand. Um, just kind of get a visual on, visual on what, uh, where that thumb should go. And, uh, and go like that. <clears throat> take like a dual clay and kind of like this here for his sleeve and uh, score that score where it's going to go
same on the other side. I think our ears are next. Um, so, I want to have big ears, I think. So, a little old ball like that. And kind of push my thumb in there like that to kind of make it, you know, like an ear. So it'll go on like that. So I want to make a, another ball the same size. So it's kind of like the same. Like that. And, uh, I look like kind of like that, about the same, you know. <clears throat> but my tool and I'm gonna put them on right about here. Get it the same place as the other ear on the other side. I'm gonna just look at it from this angle and see if they're kind of at the same place. And they are, so we're good. And bring them in. So I think it's about time to uh, make his uh, hat. So I'm gonna, I want it to be a really floppy hat. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to start it off with a ball of clay. Excuse me while I roll it off screen and then we're going to start rolling it into a noodle. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no room on the set, you know, to do it. Let's see. So, uh, I'm going to wet everything. And I'm going to try to flatten this. Well, it's kind of slippery right now because I just wet it. <clears throat> I gotta see how it's gonna work, you know. Make sure how it's gonna work. I don't think I'm gonna score it though, I'm just gonna kind of mold it on there. Ooh. 
See how that works. And find the end really good. Let me see you see that. Let me see you can see that. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the sculpture, not looking at you guys, looking at the camera, see what's going on here. Lots of pictures, their eyes are obviously. Okay, so I'm working on the hat and um, got a uh, roll the cone and I kind of bent it and I uh, it keep it nice and moist because uh, um, you know when you're bending it you know sometimes the clay will kind of crack uh, so you want to keep it you know everything really nice and moist and then uh, I want to score vigorously. <laughs> and where it's going to go. And then additionally, uh, what's that? What's that? Put it on with a twisting kind of motion. Blend it in. I have another tutorial that I did that's uh, in part in the clay, <coughs> uh, like this, um, quite large actually, about the same size really. Only well, it's, uh, he's holding a mushroom. Kind of want that kind of hanging down and kind of like that. Turn around and blend all that together there as well in the back. That is one big hat. <laughs> boy, oh boy. And uh, so I definitely want to uh, lift his eye, eyelid. Clean my tool.
I don't really want to look and really sleepy. I want to turn bright eyed. Don't look so bad. What do you think? <laughs> so, getting it. Uh, <clears throat> I think next we'll be uh, smoothing. So, I don't know where you're at with yours. I don't have a lot of, uh, you know, rough spots. Not really. But um, if you have a really bumpy, bumpy piece, I recommend like a brush like this, which is a, this is an oil brush and you can get kits with, you know, numerous brushes like on eBay. Um, I got like, oh God, I got like 20 brushes. Um, in a nice plastic case for, I don't know, with 20 bucks, something like that. Um, and I use them all the time. Even though I'm not an oil uh, painter. I, I do paint, but uh, just uh, acrylic. And uh, so if, if you did have a really rough piece, you want to use lots of water. And a coarse bristle brush like this one. I think it's coarse. I mean, oil painters might disagree, but I don't really know much about oil painting oil and all that. So I'm just using it from a sculpture standpoint. Um, so you would want to use more water. And be careful around the detailed areas like the eyes and... You know, places like the little turtle's mouth and eyes and that sort of thing. So be careful about that because uh, you can muddy that up and, and it might be kind of hard to go in there and repair it at this point. Like, it would be really hard to get to that eye in there. So, uh, and then once you get it starting to become, you know, smooth in the way you want, you can go to a, uh, like a nylon brush like this. And these also come in kits of eight to nine. They have nice uh, cloth cases for them. Really nice, really nice stuff. And then uh, just go in and kind of smooth by dragging the brush kind of like that. Um, because uh, then you're not putting any, uh, if you're going at it like that, if you poke it, you'll put marks in, uh, you don't want to put marks in it, you want to take them out, the idea is to take them out. So, uh, you know, go around and move everything that way. Um, and, uh, well, it takes time. I, I do recommend that people just 
relax with it, you know, take your time, maybe invite a friend over or get somebody on the phone and just chat with them while you're doing it. Make yourself a cup of tea, put some music on, and just relax. I find it quite relaxing to live in clay. It's uh, kind of nice, really nice, actually. So, you can do that. There you go. So I got a bit more smoothing to do, but I've got them pretty much where I want them. And uh, so that's about it. Um, let's see. The, the back uh, doesn't really have a lot of detail. Pretty, uh, pretty simple stuff on the back. Uh, I don't know if I'll do anything more back there. Um, but yeah, I think he turned out pretty cool. So, uh, that's about it. If you decide to make a gnome, definitely please send me a photo. Uh, you can email me in the, uh, my email address is in the about section on my channel page at Jake Folger. And you also can message me um, on in my Etsy shop or my Facebook page. Uh, the links will be in the video description down below the video. <clears throat> There'll also be a a link to a video um, on uh, air dry and self hardening clay hacks and uh, smoothing suggestions and things like that. Um, and, um, I'll also give you, uh, put a link, uh, for my, a playlist on faux finishes that you can do, um, and painting suggestions and that sort of thing. Um, since we're not doing, uh, I'm not doing a finish in this particular video. I think this video is long enough as it is, so yeah. So if you could, please give the video a like, share it with your friends and family. Uh, leave me a comment or question, and I will reply and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great night.